first you're going to take your ready to use pie crust. You can use any brand, but today we're going to use a store generic brand that we got from Winco today. Now we're gonna make our filling. First, we're going to go ahead and take some chicken. So today we sauteed our chicken. That's my personal preference. But again, I know as a mom or if you're on the go and super busy, rotisserie is a great, great option. Or frozen. I know Trader Joe's has a great frozen grilled chicken option. You can always use that. Next, you wanna take a bag of frozen vegetables. Today we are going to utilize a medley of green beans, looks like peas, carrots, and corn. A few of my personal favorites. But again, you can go ahead and use any preferred vegetable of choice. Next, we're going to take our cream of chicken. I'm gonna go ahead and get that open. We're gonna dump the entire can into your bowl. I know it might not look as appetizing at the moment, but I promise you, not only will it look great, but it will taste great as well. Yeah, I was gonna say, that does not look too good. No, it actually, I'm really excited about this one because yeah. it's a childhood favorite that we're gonna do mixed with a really quick, super easy, fun family dinner favorite. I'm gonna make some chicken pot pie hot pockets. Now I grew up eating hot pockets. My personal favorite was the barbecue one. The barbecue beef had like barbecue sauce, but I like barbecue. I know most people would say, no, I prefer the ham and cheese. Not I. But today we're going to take one of my, especially when it's warm out or it's just a really great wholesome meal for the family. Kids will love it. It's a great way to get veggies in. And the best part is at the end, they won't even see the vegetables. They won't even know. And at that point, it's too late. It'll already be the reaction of that was so good. Okay, so I think now that we have that all incorporated, we're going to add our seasonings because I like everything extra seasoned. Give we're going to add flavor. a little bit of garlic powder here, one of my personal favorites. And again, we're just going to season to taste. Going to have some crushed salt and pepper. That's already starting to look delicious. I know. Can you smell it already? Just from stirring it on the bowl. I'm like, I'm so hungry. Mm -hmm. Can we eat it yet? It smells so good. I'm super excited. I think anything that you can make in one bowl or one pan is the way to go, especially with our kiddos that keep us busy all day. Perfect. I think everything has been incorporated. It smells delicious, looks delicious. Now we are ready to actually create our Hot Pockets. Okay, now it's time for the fun part. We're going to now assemble our Hot Pockets. So I'm super excited because Hot Pockets, again, have been something that I grew up eating. It's something quick and easy and something you can take for lunch. And you can't go wrong with a good pot pie. My mom always would make the most delicious homemade pot pie. It was always a favorite of mine. So now we're going to just roll out your pie crust dough. Again, you can get this from any grocery store. Super simple, super easy. Now for those of you that make your own pie crust, I commend you. Give me your recipe. I'd love to try it. But today for Keeping it easy, we're going to go ahead and use our pre-made pie crust. So as for you roll it out, we're actually going to cut off our rounded edges and we're gonna make one big square. I know you're probably thinking, what a waste. Never that, never that. If you have extra filling, you can always repurpose your extra dough. 
So now that we have a perfect good square, we're now going to cut this into four. Hopefully this is even. <laughs> I mean, one hot pocket might be a little bit smaller than the other, and that one can be yours, babe, okay? Sounds good, close enough. <laughs> okay, now that we have our four squares, I'm gonna give them just a little bit of a push to make sure we have enough room for our delicious filling that we made. Okay, so now we're going to take our filling and we're going to place about a tablespoon in each square or in two of our squares, excuse me. Oh, I'm so excited. It smells so good. It looks good too. It looks so good. Been looking forward to making this one all week. And I'm super excited that we finally get to do it and have this one for dinner. <clears throat> I think this one might be a win with the kiddos too, especially because they won't see what's inside. We're like, it's chicken, it's delicious, take a bite. And then again, at that point, they've already eaten all of their veggies. I think this one needs just a little bit more love here. And it's okay to get messy. Normally I'm not that person. Wash my hands 50 times a day, get a little bit of something on me. I'm like, but I'm dirty, but that's okay. What comes with cooking comes with being in the kitchen. Okay. So now that we have our two squares prepared, we're now going to take the other half and we're going to seal our Hot Pockets. And all you're going to do is take a little bit of water and you're going to dip your fingers in it and you're going to rub it along the edges. Similar to what you would do with an egg roll. I'm going to make sure you coat all of the edges evenly. We're going to take our other square. We're going to give it a good press. Now it is important. We want to make sure that we get it completely sealed. That way we don't have anything ooey gooey happening when we put them in the oven here in just a minute. I mean, they would still taste delicious. Don't get me wrong, but perfect. Oh my gosh, look at how cute this looks. Looks like a really big ravioli. <laughs> it does. Now I want raviolis, fried raviolis. Those are my favorite. Okay, again, we're gonna take our water here. I'm going to Coat our edges. It's actually pretty soothing doing this process. Kind of therapeutic for all of our moms. I don't know. I don't normally get in the kitchen and can't get away from my kiddos. But if you do, here you go. But I mean, this is something they could totally do too. I think it's important. Get them involved. Get their hands dirty. Bring them in the kitchen. Have them make their own. Like. That would be a great idea too. I think our kiddos would love that. Like make your own dinner tonight, kids. Okay, perfect. Now that we have our two hot pockets set to go, we are now going to take a fork. And again, we're going to give our pockets an extra seal. So you're going to take the teeth of your fork and you're gonna press just lightly on the edges of the dough. Now to me, it makes them look fancy. <laughs> and extra gourmet, but there really is a purpose behind it. It's to give them an extra good seal. Okay. Now we're going to do the same with our other pocket. Like so. Okay. Now, once we've completed that, we are going to take a little bit of an egg wash. Okay, so we took just one egg and we whisked it here in our bowl. And we're gonna take that and take our brush and we're going to give it a light brush. We don't want to put too much on top. We're not trying to make scrambled eggs, but we do want to give this a nice brush. What this is going to do is give it a nice flaky finish 
and it'll be nice and golden brown. In the meantime, you want to have gone ahead and set your oven to 375. Okay, these look absolutely stunning. I can't believe it. Now you're gonna take that same fork that we put our, our fork marks in to seal our Hot Pockets and you're gonna give it two gentle pokes right here in the middle. Okay, this is going to allow a little bit of air to get through so the filling inside can cook properly <clears throat> and get heated and be nice and bubbly inside for once you are finished. These look absolutely phenomenal. Now they're ready for the oven. We're going to go ahead and take both pockets and we're going to place them on our baking sheet. You do want to make sure if you do have more than just the two, because again, you can definitely make more than two, um, you wanna make sure that you give them enough room so they don't touch each other and then bake and then bleed together and you want them to have their own space to bake nice and evenly. Now that our oven is set to 375, we're gonna place these in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. These look absolutely amazing. You can see how the egg wash made them beautifully brown and crispy on the outside. I'm so excited to try these. I Those cannot delicious. wait. Guys, look at these. They were so simple, so easy and I'm sure they taste just as amazing. Let's give it a try. I can't wait. Let's see. <gasps> they fall apart, even better. Let's see. Let's break one open and see what's going on in here. I cannot, this is absolutely unbelievable. Let's see. It smells so good. It tastes so good. Honestly, this is unreal how easy this was, how gourmet this can be, and kids would love it. Get their veggies in, definitely give this one a try.